Hey everyone, what's up? Today we're gonna be looking at the Deity V-Mic D4 Duo. Um, what is different about this mic is it has two mics in one basically. So one forward facing mic and one backward facing mic. So if you have this on your camera, and you're vlogging, you have you know your regular front mic, but then if you face the camera the other way, then you have this mic that you can talk into as well as you're showing whatever's in front of the camera. It kind of just looks like a little fluff ball right now, but if you take off the windscreens, you can see that there's basically a mic on each end of it. The thing to note is that there's a switch on here that you can switch back and forth. So either you can just have the front facing microphone on or you can switch it to the other option which is to have both mics recording at the same time. On Amazon the price of this is about $89. I did some tests with this microphone so let's go ahead and watch and listen to the tests. Okay here's a test if you're someone that vlogs that likes to turn the camera around and then show what's in front of them. Here's some bikes, here's our names, here is our kitchen. There's Hannah, she's working over there. So how does it sound when I'm switching back and forth like that? And I'm showing around. So then, you know, I have this mic in the back. So hopefully you can hear me well. Here's Hannah working over here. And yeah, that's it. How does it sound when I'm flipping back and forth like that? Is the audio pretty consistent when I flip back and forth like this? So how does it sound right now? Here's my little workspace. It's a bit messy right now. So is that something that's going to be really helpful for you if you're someone that likes to, you know, flip the camera around and show and talk a lot about what's in front of the camera? That's when this mic is going to be really helpful for you. All right, I'm going to do a quick wind test here with the fan. Uh, because when we went out and tested this, it seemed like it wasn't really blocking the wind that much and actually made the audio pretty unusable. So, wedding decor. Hindi lang naman. Hindi ko alam kung bakit parang nahihirapan siya. O, di ba? Ayan, ang wake park. Hindi lang yung tao. So, I'm going to test it again here to see if that's also the case. So, I'm going to turn on the fan. So now we got some wind blowing from the side. Is it still usable? Is the audio still usable? Or is it crackling up like it did in my test when we were at the resort? Hmm. So here it is right in front of the fan now. How does this sound? I don't know, maybe it's not really built for the wind. And then how does it work if I'm kind of like moving around, if I'm jumping, if I'm jumping and doing some, if I'm a vlogger that's you know, that likes to move around a lot, that does some running. Did it handle it that fine or was it, was the audio breaking up a little bit? All right, let's do a sort of interview test. So let's interview Hannah here. All right, interviewing Hannah. So I'm the interviewer here on the backside. Hannah, what did you eat for breakfast today? I ate sausage with um, scrambled egg inside with one, uh, a piece of bread. What else do you want to say to the world? And a random, just keep mm -hmm. swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> so this could be a helpful tool if you're going to be interviewing people, you know, just like on the street, you're vlogging, you want to talk to someone, and then you're behind the camera. That could be really helpful. All right, just for the heck of it, this is the Rode Video Micro microphone, and I'm going to see what it sounds like if I talk from the back. And now I'm talking from the back of it. How does this sound? Maybe this could still work if you're not someone that, you know, turns the camera around that often when you're vlogging. Yeah, so how does that compare to the Deity D4 Duo? Okay, what do you think of those tests? Uh, here are some of my thoughts. I think the back mic definitely sounds a lot better because when you turn the camera around, your mouth is naturally closer to the back mic when you're talking. So usually when the sound source is closer to the mic, you get better sounding audio. And then in return, when you flip the camera back around, you're a bit further away from the mic. So it doesn't sound as good because you're further away from the mic. The levels on the back mic are lower as well than the front. And I think they did that because they know your mouth is gonna be closer to the back mic when you're talking into it, when the camera's facing away from you. The overall audio quality, I thought it sounds really clear. And I think definitely you can improve it with some EQ, but right out of the box, it doesn't sound bad. I think it sounds pretty good. When you're recording from both mics at the same time, 
Basically it records onto one audio track and then basically it splits the mic up into left and right channels. So what you have to do when you're editing is you have to split that stereo track into two mono tracks so that you have separate tracks for the front and the back mic. So that's something to know is you're gonna have to do some extra post processing when you're gonna be utilizing both mics at the same time. The biggest downside for me is the wind test. It's just not reliable in any sort of wind. When we were out there at the resort, the wind wasn't actually that strong, but the audio was breaking up quite badly and it was very unusable. Still, the king of the wind test for me is the Rode Video Micro. I don't know how they do it. Maybe it's the type of wind muff they use, I'm not sure, but this thing does really well in heavy, intense winds. And audio still comes out really good. So if you're someone that vlogs outdoors a lot, especially needs to vlog when it's kind of windy and stuff, I would definitely still pick the Rode Video Micro over the Deity Duo. If you want to see more tests of this, I have a video I made like of a comparison video. You can check that out here and you can see more wind tests I did with the Rode Video Micro. I'd say this Deity Duo mic is really ta tailored towards people who are doing basically real-time voiceovering, like they're showing their surroundings and then talking into the camera as they're showing it. But if you're someone that doesn't do that, I'd still recommend just buying something like the Rode Video Micro or the Boya MM1 shotgun mic. Cause I was actually surprised when I did the test where I talked into the back of this mic and it actually doesn't sound that bad when you're talking into the back of this mic. You know, if you're in a, if you just need to do a quick turnaround and talk a little bit. Also, if you're someone that does like street interviews a lot, this could be a really helpful tool if you need to be hearing your voice also while you're interviewing people on the street or something. For me personally, I think I'm just gonna be sticking with my Rode Video Micro because I don't really do a lot of, you know, talking to the back of the microphone when I'm showing stuff. And if I need to, actually it doesn't sound too bad when I do that with this mic and mainly just because this does so well in the wind and when you're outdoors and moving around a lot, this Rode Video Micro does so well. But I definitely think this Deity Duo is a good microphone. It sounds good and it's very versatile because you know you have sound on the back, you have sound on the front. This could be good for voiceovers as well. The price isn't bad for about 80 to 90 dollars. It's not a bad price, especially because you're getting two mics in one basically. Let me know, would you be interested in this mic? Would it be useful for you? I hope this video helped out and if it was helpful, please leave Leave it a like and also consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy watching my videos all right guys that's gonna be it for this video i'll see you next time bye bye